Hello, in this video we are just going to talk about a brand new wired USB computer mouse, which we just bought on Amazon. This is the PIC Tech Gaming Mouse, wired, not wireless, ergonomic gaming mice. Okay, PIC Tech Gaming Mouse. That's pretty cool. So let's see what is in this rather small box. I prefer the uh, wired computer mice just because I think it's just easier. You just plug it in, that's it. I don't, I don't really know how the wireless mice work or how to charge it or whatever. So anyways, we've got this computer mouse and we're just gonna try it out right now. I'm just gonna give you my first impressions about this computer mouse. There's a computer right over there. We're just gonna try it out. But obviously, I'm not gonna guarantee that even if the product looks like it's working well right now, I'm not gonna guarantee that it's gonna work well forever, for a few months, a few years, etc. We're just gonna give our first impressions about this computer mouse, and that's pretty much it. So let's get started. We have the PicTech wired USB computer mouse, which you just plug into your computer with uh, the US into the USB port. And one thing I will say that even though this says uh, and I think it says on Amazon as well, which is where we got it. Maybe we got it for like a little over $10. It says gaming mouse right here, but it doesn't necessarily mean that, it doesn't mean that this can only be used for games. I, I hope that there's no misunderstanding here. I'm sure you know that already, but just in case you're wondering why it says gaming mouse, not computer mouse, I think maybe it just means that there's certain computer mice that are just maybe optimized or have certain aspects, certain features that maybe lend itself more to gaming. Um, but of course, this can be used for everyday work, kind of in the office, not ga not just gaming, obviously. So it's pretty straightforward what we're gonna have here when you buy a wired computer mouse. You've got your mouse and maybe some instructions. So we're just gonna stand that up right here and hope it doesn't, okay, we'll just leave it there. User manual. So here's where we might see some of the features that the mouse has, but I'm just gonna let you know right off the bat, I'm just gonna use this as, would use this for work if I'm working at home, or I would just use it for, for leisure. I would just use it to make videos, to edit videos, to browse the internet. I'm not gonna use it for gaming. So there might be some features here, most likely that I'm not gonna talk about, which maybe uh, for gaming it might be useful but I'm just gonna use it as a regular mouse and that's how I'm gonna give you my first impressions. I'm just gonna show you myself using it in a Word document, for example. So we have our user manual right here. Sorry about the lighting, it's a little bit dark. I do apologize. Okay, so you have some buttons here. Scroll wheel, that's very important, obviously. Eastern Times Technology Co. LTD. Okay, we're right here. Usage. Oh, wait, where is it? Oh. This mouse supports strategy game. Okay, games. Er ergonomic design provides more comfortable operation. Okay. Plug mouse into the computer USB connector, into the USB port. Straightforward enough. Please wait about three seconds and the driver will be installed automatically for your usage. See? That sounds uh, uh, straightforward enough. You see, um, you're going to have a cable, obviously, connect the mouse to the computer. Um, so that's wired, uh, USB. Okay, so let's see what happens. We're going to, once we try to plug the mouse in. So here is the mouse itself. So what I always look for that it's not too small because um, it just might be more difficult for me to use if it's if it's a little bit smaller. But anyways, here's my hand. I will say, this feels very comfortable so far. The PicTech mouse. I like it. So far, so far, so good, but that, that doesn't mean anything until we turn it on. I mean, until we plug it in and start using it. So let's, um, let's continue this video by taking off this tie right here, and then we can just see how long the cable is. I mean, of course, it doesn't need to be that long because we're not going to be sitting very far from our computer anyways. Um, 
but nevertheless, it is a long uh, USB. It's a long cable. Hey, look, it goes here. I'm trying to show you. Whoa, yeah. <laughs> look at that. Okay, so first impressions. This was, I, we got this for maybe, I think less than $11, maybe around $11, something like that. I'm not guaranteeing that's the price you're going to pay. This is just, we found on Amazon, I think it was around $11 maybe. So, but for the price, uh, well, okay. I mean, interesting design. It's probably going to light up over here. We got some buttons. We have our scroll wheel. I don't know if you can hear this. Barely makes any noise. Good, not too noisy. Here are the buttons. Nice responsive clicking sound. You can probably hear that. Takes a little bit of effort to press. I mean, only a little bit, not a lot of effort. So you're not gonna get tired just from clicking the buttons. Okay, comfortable in my hand. Fits right to my hand. Um, okay, we're ready to just test out this computer mouse. So I'm gonna see you right back in a few seconds. We're gonna plug this in and we're just gonna give you our first impressions just from clicking around a little bit. Hopefully this mouse will be responsive. Hopefully it's not gonna double click. But so far the design, very simple, but very, very just, very comfortable so far. We're just gonna plug this in and start using this computer mouse. This is the, 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 um, the PicTech, I think it said, PicTech Pic Wired Gaming Mouse. Okay, I'll see you in the next video. We're just going to get our computer set up. Hello everyone, we are back with the PicTech Wired Computer Mouse, which we have right over here. We are going to just make a video in which we just plug this wired computer mouse into the computer and then we are going to just see how responsive it is. We're going to talk about our first impressions with this wired computer mouse. It says gaming mouse, but obviously as we discussed, that doesn't that doesn't mean that it has to be used for games. It could be used for anything like just sitting at the computer, browsing the internet. But of course, um, there might be some other features here that maybe lend lend itself well to gaming or things of that nature. So we have the scroll wheel, we have the two buttons, we have our um, computer ready to get started. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we have our we have our cable right here, and we're just going to bring this um, mouse to the mouse pad right here. Okay, here we are. And we're just going to gonna plug this in right over here. Okay. Okay, sorry about that. It's not a whole lot of room over here. So we have our, uh, we have our USB, uh, we have our USB port right here on the, comp on the computer. So we're gonna plug that in right now. Okay, look at that, look at that. Okay, here we go. The mouse is on. And the drivers are being installed, so look at that. Okay, there it is. As soon as the camera decides to focus, there is the PicTech Wired Gaming Mouse. And we're gonna just try it out right now. And we're just gonna give you our first impressions. Of course, I cannot guarantee th that this is a long lasting product. We just bought this and we're just gonna try it out right now. Maybe in a few weeks, I'll make a review. But otherwise, this will just be a video showing my first impressions. Okay. okay so here, here we go. Okay, so let's get started. I'm just going to be clicking around in this Word document, uh, and we're just going to see um, how responsive this is. Around a little bit. Let's 
sorry, it's just I think the uh, cable is a little bit getting in the way a little bit here. Okay, that's fine. And the cable seems to be a little bit on the on the ground almost. That's why it's preventing me from kind of moving it very well. This is interesting. I mean, I don't know if this is unfortunate, but it seems that the uh Okay, I can see here. It seems that the where the cord comes out, it seems to be like right next to the um like on the surface. See, it's almost like sticking downwards. So I hope that's not preventing me from moving because it seems like I'm having trouble moving it. I don't know if that's the reason, but let's just see a little bit. It's kind of weird. Look, I don't know if you can see here. Sorry, I'm just trying to move this around. Okay, so you see where this kind of like slopes downward over here, like like that. It's almost like if I have my if it's on my hand, this part is touching my hand. So it's kind of kind of having a little bit of trouble moving it. So maybe I just have to kind of bend it so it just stops doing that uh, let me see maybe if i do that it'll stop okay yeah i was just i was just wondering why i'm having trouble moving the mouse i think it's because this cord was like kind of going moving down like that okay sorry i know i'm just i'm just trying to give you my first impressions about this mouse okay never mind we're ready just kind of bend it upward a little bit uh, okay Just trying to see if there's any double clicking or anything like that, um, just so we can see if this is responsive so far. Okay, so we're going to copy. So I, I work with a lot of documents at work, so I'm trying to imagine if I'm using this um, at work, um, what's it going to be like? So I'm going to be doing a lot of copy and pasting. Um, so let's say copy. Okay. Okay, I think I've got my first impressions now. So what I can say so far is that um, this does feel very comfortable. It's it's um, it's not small. So that's 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 one thing I, I do like. It's not. Here's my hand. Here's the mouse. So as you can see here, if it's my hand, I mean I know that um, people's hand sizes might be different, but just for me personally, I think this is very decently sized. Um, fits right in my hand, of course, um, some mice might be smaller, some might be larger, I mean, hopefully not, I would be able, not be able to hold this if it was larger. First impressions, I think it's responsive, but of course, I mean, you might have seen reviews on Amazon for other computer mice where some of them might say, oh, after a few months it stopped working, and that's because after months and months of clicking and clicking and clicking, especially if you're playing games, I mean, I imagine that's a lot of clicking, or if you're working, also a lot of clicking, maybe something might malfunction, but I'm not talking about this product, I'm just saying in general, me saying that this is responsive and that that things are like you know going okay right now it doesn't necessarily mean that it doesn't necessarily mean that that's going to be the case always so that's all i can do and, and other other than making a video two weeks later and just saying or, or even two months later saying oh i've been using this for two months and i like it so far etc all i can say is these are just my first uh impressions and um, I think so far, I mean, this is a long cable. I'm just trying to get around that. I mean, uh, just kind of figure out where you want to put the rest of your cable because 
this is really a long cable and you just don't want it to interfere as we saw earlier you don't want it to interfere with how well it you you can move the mouse you don't want to interfere with that so always a challenge just figure out where you're going to put this because if the cable is like bent everywhere and it's kind of you don't want it to put any pressure any make any resistance when you're actually using this because that's what i noticed hey why isn't it moving very well and that's because the cable was just getting everywhere and it was preventing me from moving this around very well so that's all i would say i mean obviously that's common sense so but just because i was in a small space here i was just trying to figure out how to how best to do that so anyways um this is the PicTech wired a uh, computer mouse it says gaming mouse but you can use it for anything really not just games obviously and so far so good i think it's very comfortable it is larger than other computer mice i've seen uh so maybe just keep that in mind it's um uh, don't know if that'll mean that i get tired from using it because i have to kind of move around this rather large object but it might be a good thing for you if it's if it's a larger mouse just might be easier to to hold um um just yeah so but i think it's comfortable it just it's a little bit larger than i expected especially like see on the sides um but there is nothing wrong with it from my first impressions just keep in mind that um i'm not saying that this is going to last you a long time but um yeah so far i have no complaints i think it is was responsive it didn't seem to double click the pick tech wired um gaming mouse or you can just call it a computer mouse that you can just plug into your computer uh, the usb port right here and then you're ready to go and of course maybe you can adjust your settings as you like but i didn't really do any of that all i did was just plug it in and i was ready to go so i do think that this is responsive but again i've only used this for a couple of minutes um but so far um, I think that it is registering all these clicks that I want it to, and um, it has served its purpose. But I might make a video in a couple of weeks reviewing this, but um, all I can say right now is just do your research. If you're going to buy a computer mouse, look at the negative reviews. I know that every product will have negative reviews, but you don't want to see recurring reviews saying over and over, oh, it stopped working after a few weeks, stopped working after a few weeks. That would be a red flag, obviously. But I'm sure you know how to do your research, so... I wish you all the best if you're looking for a computer mouse. This is just one of the many that are offered on Amazon. The Pick Tech Wired Gaming Mouse that you just plug in to your USB port on your computer. Thank you for watching this video and have a nice day. I don't know if there's a way to turn off the, the glowing. Um, I don't know if there's a way to turn this off, the, the lighting over here. Maybe there is, maybe there isn't. I might make a separate video on that, but... Uh, feel free to read the instruction manual. Maybe there is a way to do that. Um, if not, I hope it's not too distracting for you. So that is all for this video. Um, thank you for watching.